What happened? We had a full moon and high tide connecting at the, at the same time. Yeah, swept away cars, fences, handball alleys, everything. It was like the street was just piled up with garbage. It was unbelievable. It looked like Lebanon. It really looked like it was bombed out. There was nothing on the streets. So there was two rushes of water, and the water stayed here throughout the evening into the next day. Um, people around here say that you could have um, taken a canoe down the peninsula. This storm intensified that storm, so it brought it right back and hit us like terribly, like up was it, like October 29th or 30th of 2012. I didn't get electric back till the electric was after Thanksgiving. And the heat was just about Christmas. Every pump seized, <gasps> so what came in here was sewage, <gasps> real sewage. The entire A train line here was out of service here for seven months here. Everything was, was knocked out of here. And a lot of Rockway is still going to be year, years away from being uh, rebuilt again there, you know that? It was terrible here. Mother Nature, you know, Mother Nature does not play, you know. Every single home here was affected. The peak water level was 13 feet. And uh, Hurricane Sandy, as some of you might know, was the second costliest in um, U.S. history. I saw how many people were affected by Sandy and I really wanted to go help out. I wanted to help somebody instead of watching it on TV. I'm Pastor Jeannie Shaw from Sacramento, California. And we're here in the Rockaways of New York, rebuilding some of these homes. Presbyterian Disaster Assistance is all over the country. Rebuilding New Orleans, rebuilding Galveston, rebuilding after the tornadoes in Joplin and Oklahoma, rebuilding in the floods of Nashville. Wherever there is disaster, the Presbyterian Disaster Assistance is often the first boots on the ground. Jeannie said, do you want to go on a mission trip? <laughs> I said, well, it's a mission trip. She said, it's where we go different places and help them. And I said, yeah, I can do that. That's how I got started. We shaped the closets, we put down plaster, resurfaced it, put the siding on, helped put the windows in, painted it, sanded it, everything. I had absolutely no construction skills going into it, and yet the people that were there taught us so much, and we, I, I learned how to put up drywall. I was able actually to accomplish something and build this closet for this family. I gotta say, by the time we were done, these places, they looked, they looked awfully nice. They're, they started to look like homes, which was really cool. And the, the homeowners, when they came in, they were pretty amazed at how much we had gotten done in such a short period of time. On a personal note, I'm a person who's lost really everything in my life. You get to help other people, but I think in a way, I felt like I got more out of it than I was able to give anybody on that trip. Seeing the homeowner being so happy that we took time out of our spring break to go help her. I love it. I love this. I love this eggshell color. I love it. But I really thought that was rewarding. This lady couldn't live in her house for a long time because of destruction that came and because of us, because of me and everyone else that went, we made it possible for her to actually start her life again and be living in her home. And we just got news that the house is all done, she's moved back in, which is fantastic. When we help other people, we're helping humanity. This is what Jesus wanted us to do, love your neighbor. If ever in your lifetime you ever feel like, you know, there's not a God, oh my God, there is a God. And it was the people, you know, it was God was sending people. I was telling the lads, I was, I was working on my house all by myself for six months. I didn't have, I had one person come down maybe once. And then I got to a point that I couldn't do anything more, you know, without help from somewhere. And next thing, Friends of Rockaway came, you guys come, and now I got all new walls, all new insulation, heating system. It's rewarding in ways that are beyond explanation. I absolutely love mission trips. They're fantastic and you learn just so many lifelong things. Everybody should do it at least once and once you do it you'll like it and you'll come back again. For me the center of church and the center of my faith is really service and action and service. So what this New York trip was 
for me is it was a chance to take my faith and volunteer and serve. And that's really what grows when you can be a part of your community and take action in your faith. It feels like someone just opened my heart and put a bunch of joy and hope and love in my heart. It was like the best experience ever. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I usually don't do that. Yeah, I would do it again, definitely. <laughs> Giving hope to a family that has lost absolutely everything. Rebuilding their lives by rebuilding their homes. God is calling. Where will you go?